What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rob. For this video here, we're gonna do another supplement review. Now today, I'm gonna review two of the best natural testosterone boosting supplements that I have personally used. Tonkat Ali. Fadogi Agrestis. And I also just wanna let you know that I am in no way sponsored for making this video or for even taking these supplements. I'm just doing this out of my own experiment. Now just a little background history here. When I was in my 20s, I went through a variety of supplements that I thought were gonna boost my muscle size and my performance and these are the typical ones that have the words testosterone booster stapled right in the front of the supplement I went through a couple different versions of these supplements and to be honest I never really researched the products to begin with especially in my younger 20s I didn't really know much about the supplements I just took them and my experience with them was rather poor I didn't feel any improvements I didn't feel any muscle gains I didn't feel any strength gains to be honest when I think about them retrospectively they were a huge waste of money and with what I know now didn't have any of the positive lifestyle habits that I have now and even then I still did not get good results from these supplements so lately when I want to try a new supplement I usually like to learn about them I usually like to research them for a little bit before I even consider taking this supplement and now most of the time I go for natural driven supplements that boost whatever it is that they're trying to boost naturally I also tend to document my progress before and after to see if I can notice an actual difference using the supplement or not and whatever desired effect that it's supposed to have have on me. Now recently I came across two herbal supplements that are supposed to increase your testosterone levels naturally and with rarely any side effects. I did a little research on these and I actually found two videos that broke down the supplements and even backed up the benefits with blood work. And in case you're interested, I'm also going to put links at the bottom with these two videos so that you can see these videos yourself. Anyways, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to review my experience with these two supplements over the past month. So I started taking these supplements because I wanted to find a natural alternative way of boosting my testosterone without having to take harmful substances or nasty side effects. I also wanted to see how well this would work so that I could pass on the information to you guys if you're interested in increasing your testosterone levels naturally and using them to your benefit. Now there are two types of supplements that will increase your testosterone. Obviously there are those made in a lab and there are herbal supplements. In my opinion, it's best to use the herbal supplements to avoid as much side effects as possible. Tonka Ali is a tree native to Southeast Asian countries such as Malaysia, Thailand, and Indonesia. The root of the tree contains compounds called quasinoids and alkaloids. But beware, Tonka Ali is also known as Malaysian ginseng or long jack. So just be mindful if you're interested in buying this supplement. Now, Fadogi Agrestis is a shrub from Nigeria. Now, I went with the brand Double Wood and I found that on Amazon. And the only reason I went with that supplement in general is because it had good ratings, good report, and it was cheaper financially. So before you consider taking these supplements, I would first highly recommend improving your lifestyle habits. Simple changes in lifestyle habits can lead to improved testosterone without supplementation. And in case you're interested, I actually made a video on simple lifestyle habits that you can change on a daily basis that will help you improve your testosterone levels without supplementation. And obviously, I'll put a link up on the top and this video will give you a greater breakdown. So if you're interested in that, link will be at the top. This will be a good starting place. Once you build a good foundation, then you can move on to the supplementation. So what are the benefits that these two supplements claim to be able to do? Number one, they boost testosterone levels. Number two, they improve erectile dysfunction. Number three, they decrease cortisol and stress levels. Number four, they improve your mood. And number five, they just help you push past plateaus. Now, the only con I can think of with this experiment is that I wasn't able to measure my differences through blood work. And that's only again, because I just didn't get around to doing blood work before and after. However, I do wanna try this in the future again with blood work just to see the actual difference that it makes on a scale with objective results. So again, the people that made progress with these supplements used both of these supplements in conjunction with each other. And there's studies that support the idea that using these two together can help you build lean mass over a 16 month span. So now let's go over my personal experience with these two supplements. I've been taking both of these supplements together for a little over a month. Now, first off, increased strength. Did it increase my strength? Well, I can honestly say that over the past month, my deadlifts have gone up at least 35 pounds per side. And my chest press has also gone up. Now, overall, most of my exercises, I have been able to add weight. So overall, I do think that my strength has increased. Now, keep in mind, I've also been more consistent with my eating patterns and my workouts in general. So I can't say this is 100% directly impacted by the 
supplements, but what I can say is that the supplement definitely did help me go past the toes and help me push myself further. But again, you also have to consider the mindset that I was in. You want the results, you got to put the mindset in as well. Now increased muscle mass. Over the past month and a half, I have gained over two pounds of lean muscle tissue. So I could definitely say that the pills worked, but again, you have to consider that my diet and my workout routines were on point over the last month and a half. Fat loss. I didn't experience a traumatic amount of fat loss. I experienced maybe one pound of fat that I lost over the last month and a half. Nothing I'd say, but I will mention that over the entire time that I was taking these two supplements, I was in a calorie surplus and I was consuming a little over 3,200 calories per day. So results may have been different if my calories were lower and I may have lost more fat. However, considering the fact that I was pushing myself, not only just with resistance training, but with cardio as well, I personally wanted the surplus for recovery reasons. Now sex drive, I can definitely report that my libido was higher during this period. And as for the physical feeling of testosterone itself, I wouldn't be able to report that I was feeling different or that I noticed any physical feelings and differences. However, like I mentioned, I already have a foundation of good, healthy lifestyle habits which is why there probably wasn't a huge noticeable difference. And again, feeling different physically because of the testosterone. So again, I would highly recommend if you're going to do this, first starting your foundations and then adding both, and then you will most likely have a greater in increase in testosterone. So that was my experience with these two supplements. Now they were kind of expensive, but I do think they're worth the investment and I do think they're worth cycling into your program at one point or another. Now, if you wanna know how I took these two supplements, I took them both at different times of the day and they were both with different different meals. So again, I didn't feel any side effects, so it was a good experiment. And I'm gonna be cycling on and off of these two supplements in the future long term. And that way I continue to reap from the benefits of them. So obviously I can only give you my subjective analysis, but again, if you want links with, with objective results, I will put those at the bottom so that you can see those yourself. All right, so like I mentioned before in the past, I'm a personal trainer that focuses on functional movement and lifestyle coaching. So if you are interested in that, hit me up on social media. My social media links will be at the bottom. If you want any discount on some supplements. There is links at the bottom with the discounts to supplements. And if you found this information useful, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and have a nice day. Peace out.